input, output and storage devices. Let's learn about introduction, input devices, output devices, storage devices. Introduction The computer is of no use unless it is able to communicate with the outside world. Input and output devices are required by the users to communicate with the computer. In simple terms, input devices take in information in the computer and output devices take out information from the computer system. These input and output devices are also known as peripherals since they surround the CPU and memory of a computer system. Some commonly used input and output devices are listed in the table below. Input Devices Keyboard, Mouse, Joystick, Scanner, Light Pen, Touch Screen Output Device Monitor, LCD or LED, Printer, Plotter, Speakers Input Devices An input device is any hardware device that sends data to the computer. Without any input device, a computer would only be display device and not allow users to interact with it. Below is a list of different input devices that can be used on a computer. Keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, barcode reader, light pen, touch screen, touchpad. Keyboard Keyboard is a text-based input device that allows the user to input alphabets, numbers and other characters. It consists of a set of keys mounted on a board. Mouse The mouse is a small device which is used to point a particular place on the screen and select in order to perform one or more actions. It can be used to select menu commands, resize windows, start programs, etc. The most conventional kind of mouse has two buttons on top, the left one being used most frequently. Mouse Actions Left click, it is used to select an item. Double click, it is used to start a program or open a file. Right click, it is usually used to display a set of commands. Drag and drop, it allows you to select and move an item from one location to another. To drag and drop, place the cursor over an item on the screen, click on the left mouse button and while holding the button down, move the cursor to the location where you want to place the item and then release it. Joystick A joystick is a vertical stick which moves the graphic cursor in a direction the stick is moved. It has a button on its top that is used to select the option pointed by the cursor. Joystick is used as an input device and is primarily used with video games, training simulators and controlling robots. Scanner A scanner is an input device which is used for direct data entry from the source document into the computer system. It converts the document image into digital form so that it can be fed into the computer. Capturing information like this reduces the possibility of errors typically experienced during large data entry. Handheld scanners are commonly seen in big stores to scan codes and see price information for each of the items. Barcode Reader it is a set of lines of different thickness that represents a number. Barcode readers are used to input data from barcodes. Most products and shops have barcodes on them. Barcode readers work by shining a beam of light on the lines that make up the barcode and de detecting the amount of light that is reflected back. Light Pen a light pen is a pen-shaped device which is used to select objects on a display screen. It is quite like a mouse in its functionality but uses a light pen to move the pointer and select any object on the screen by pointing to the object. Users of computer-aided design CAD, applications commonly use the light pens to directly draw on screen. Touch screen a touch screen allows the user to operate or make selections by simply touching the display screen. Common examples of touch screen include information 
kiosk and bank ATMs. Touchpad Touchpads are a common feature of laptop computer and are also used as substitute for a mouse where desk space is a screen. Because they are very in size, they can also be found in personal digital assistants and some portable media players. Output Devices Any peripheral that receives or displays output from a computer is called an output device. Below is a list of different computer output devices found in a computer. Monitor, LCD, Printer, Plotter Monitor It is an output device that resembles a television screen and uses a cathode ray tube CRT, to display information. The monitor is associated with a keyboard for manual input of characters and displays the information as it is keyed in. It also displays the program or application output. Like the television, monitors are also available in different sizes. A monitor is also called VTU, Visual Display Unit. Liquid Crystal Display LCD. LCD was introduced in the 1970s and is now applied to display terminals also. Its advantages like low energy consumption, smaller and lighter size have paved its way for uses in portable computers, laptops. Printer Printers are used to produce output on paper, commonly known as hard copy. Based on the technology used, they can be classified as impact and non-impact printers. Impact printers use the typewriting printing mechanism in which a hammer strikes a paper through a ribbon in order to produce output. Dot matrix and character printers fall under this category. Non-impact printers do not touch the paper while printing. They use chemical, heat or electrical signals to catch the symbols on a paper. Inkjet, deskjet, laser and thermal printers fall under this category of printers. When we talk about printers, we refer to two basic qualities associated with printers, print resolution and print speed. Print resolution is measured in terms of number of dots per inch (DPI). Print speed is measured in terms of number of characters printed in a unit of time and represented as characters per second (CPS), lines per minute (LPM) or pages per minute (PPM). Plotter, printer. Plotters are used to print graphical output on a paper. It interprets computer commands and makes line drawings on paper using multicolored automated pens. It is capable of producing graphs, drawings, charts, maps, etc. Computer-aided engineering applications like CAD and CM. Computer-aided manufacturing are typical uses areas for plotters. Storage devices when data and instructions are entered, it is required to be stored in the computer for processing. We need desk and filling cabinet to work. Similarly, computer also needs some space. This space keeps the data and instructions retained in the computer. This space is known as memory. It stores data and instructions temporarily or permanently. There are two types of memory storage. Primary memory. Secondary memory Primary memory Primary memory is just like a table or desk where we temporarily open books or copies etc. to work upon. If there is no desk or table, then it is very difficult to study or work in office. Similarly, computer also needs some temporary space to keep input, intermediary results and output. There are two types of primary memory, they are RAM, Random Access Memory, ROM, Read-Only Memory. Random Access Memory Random Access Memory is a part of primary memory which can be accessed randomly. Data can be written or read from any location of the RAM chip. RAM stores data temporarily. It is volatile in nature, that is, when the power is switched off, 
Any data or instructions written into the RAM is lost. Read-only memory ROM Read-only memory is a chip where information is hardwired, written permanently which cannot be erased. In ROM, when power supply is switched off, the information does not get erased or lost unlike RAM. Information can be written only once on these kind of chips. It is written at the time of manufacturing. This is the reason why it is called read-only memory. ROM plays a crucial role in computers. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is also called auxiliary memory, which stores data permanently. In primary memory, data cannot be written permanently in large amount. That is why secondary storage is required so that information can be stored for future use. Secondary storage devices can be classified into two categories, sequential access storage devices and direct access storage devices. Hard disk. A hard disk is a part of system unit, often called a disk drive, hard drive or hard disk drive. It is stores and provides relatively quick access to large amounts of data on an electromagnetically charged surface or set of surfaces. Hard disk is a circular platter made up of mylar plastic or very smooth metal coated with magnetic ferric oxide on both sides. Hard disk is a magnetic disk on which you can store data and information. DVD a DVD represents the second generation of compact disk technology. Like a CD drive, a DVD drive uses a low power laser to read digitized binary data that have been encoded onto the disk in the form of tiny bits. Because it uses a digital format, a DVD can store any kind of data, including movies, music, text, and graphical images. The full form of DVD is Digital Versatile Disk or Digital Video Disk. A DVD holds a minimum of 4. GB of data that is enough for two full length movies. DVDs are commonly used as a medium for digital representation of movies and other multimedia presentations that combine sound with graphics. Pen drive. Pen drive is also a storage device. It is also called a USB device. USB or flash drive or pen drive is the best among the removable storage devices for its portable and easy to use features. Pen drives are small but solid devices as they come in highly durable designs nowadays.